Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, welcome to this session in which we're going to be discussing a paper 3 topic called Partial Fraction Decomposition. Now before I explain to you what partial fractions mean, I want you to consider these two fractions that are being added together. Right now I'm sure all of you are very familiar with additions like this because you've been doing this since your O-levels. Uh, so all we need to do here is we need to make sure the denominators of the two fractions here are the same before we are able to add them. So in this case, the denominator is going to be x minus 4 times x minus 2. So we have x minus 4 times x minus 2 in the denominator. For the first fraction, we're going to have to multiply 3 with x minus 2. And similarly, for the second fraction, we'll have to multiply 5 with x minus 4. So here we get 3 times x minus 2. And in the second fraction, we have 5 times x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 into x minus 2. Now, if you look at it here, the denominators are the same. So now we can simply add the numerators. So that becomes 3x minus 6 plus 5x minus 20 whole divided by x minus 4 into x minus 2. When you simplify this, you get something like this, 8x minus 26 whole divided by x minus 4 times x minus 2. So this is very straightforward. All of you know how to do this. Now the question is, what if you have this single fraction given and you instead have to go in the opposite direction? So you want to find the parts that make up this fraction. So these are the two parts. This is the first part. This is the second part. When we add these two parts up, we get this single fraction. That's why these two things, these two fractions are known as partial fractions of this. All right. So we need to find a way in order to go in the opposite direction here. So that's what we're going to learn in this video. Now let's start working on this. So we have this fraction 8x minus 26 whole divided by x minus 4 into x minus 2. This is the fraction that you want to break up into multiple parts. Now the starting point here would be what you have in the denominator here. So we have two, fract two factors that are being multiplied with each other. So in this case, we're going to have two fractions because of these two factors. And each of those factors is going to have one factor from here. So the first fraction could have x minus 4 in the denominator. The second fraction could have x minus Two in the denominator. So figuring out the denominator is mostly going to be very straightforward. In fact, it's always going to be straightforward. But the problem is the numerator is not as obvious. So you have to find the numerator Now, since we do not know what's going to be here, we assume uh, we actually represent uh, whatever is here by some letters. We say this is A and we say this is B. And we have to find the values of a and b. Now, of course, it doesn't matter uh, what you put, what letter you put here. You can choose any letter; it doesn't matter. But these are variables in which values find for me. Now, here, the advantage is we have converted this problem into a much simpler one uh, in a way that we only find a or b values. If you are able to find those values, we'll be able to find out the exact partial fractions. Now, this another important point to note here, and that is, this is not just a simple equation. This we represent identity. Se bhi represent karte. So, this identity ka sign. Hota hai. What that means is, these, these two sides are identical to each other. This is not just equal. Identical is an extra, extra condition. Hoti hai. And that means, ki this equation has to hold for all values of x. X ki aap jo bhi value put kar de, these two sides should be equal to each other. That's a very important point here. We'll, we'll, figure the, we'll uh, 
you'll see in a while why that's so important. Now, let's simplify this. We have 8x minus 26 on the left hand side, uh, 4 divided by x minus 4 into x minus 2. We keep that as it is. On the right side, we can take the LCM and we'll have x minus 4 into x minus 2 in the denominator. And since this first fraction only has x minus 4 in the denominator, it will have to be multiplied with x minus 2 plus b times x minus 4 because this only has x minus 2 in the denominator. So, we x minus 4 multiply it. Now, if you notice here, you will see the denominators in this case are both the same. This denominator and this denominator are the same. What that means is, since it's an identity or an equation, the numerators also have to be equal to each other. So this thing also has to be equal to this thing for the equality to hold. So from that, it follows that 8x minus 26 is identical to a times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 4. Now, here is uh, why this identity is so important. So remember I said this thing holds for all values of x. That means here you x ki jo bhi value put kar dein, this equation has to hold. Now that's very useful because that allows us to use some smart values of x here in order to find the values of a and b. Let me give you an example. What if I put x equal to 2 here? If I put x equal to 2 here, this becomes 2 minus 2, and which is 0. And when 0 is multiplied with a, ye puri expression 0 ho jayegi. And we'll only have b in the equation when I'm b ki value find for a second. Let me, uh, let's uh, see how we can do this. So let's put x equal to 2 in this identity. Right? Why are we doing this? Because if we put 2 put here, this thing will become 0. When you put x equal to 2 in, th in this identity, on the left hand side we have 8 into 2 minus 26. And on the right hand side, now we have already put the value of x, so your equation is done. Uh, on the right hand side we have a multiplied with 2 minus 2 plus b multiplied with 2 minus 4. When you simplify this, you get 16 minus 26, which is negative 10. On the right hand side, we have 0 minus 2b. Now, minus 2 goes there. It, it's, it's divided there. Uh, so we get b equal to 5 in this case. Similarly, for the other case, now, the only thing that's left is the value of a here. How do you find the value of a? For the value of a, what we can do is, we can put x equal to 4 in this equation. If we x equal to 4 here, input kare, this will become 4 minus 4, or b eliminate ho jayega. And we'll only have an equation in a, this can value find result. Alright, so let's put x equal to 4 in this case. So on the left hand side, we'll have 8 times 4 minus 26. And the right hand side, we have a multiplied with 4 minus 2 plus b into 4 minus 4. This becomes 0. On the left hand side, we have uh, 32 minus 26, which is 6. This is 2 times a plus 0. So a comes out to be 3. So we have found the values of a and b. Now if we go back up, we said this thing can be written, it can be decomposed into these two parts. Now once we have the values of a and b, we can say these two parts are actually, uh, since a is equal to 3, this is 3 divided by x minus 4, plus 
Since b is 5, this is 5 divided by x minus 2. So these are the partial fractions for this single fraction. We can verify this. Remember, this is where we started from. 3 over x minus 4 plus 5 over x minus 2. We've got back to the same thing. So these are the partial fractions. Now, of course, it's not always going to be as straightforward as it was in this case, because there are multiple possibilities of what can come here in the denominator. So there are actually different cases uh, that are uh, a bit more complicated than this example. We'll discuss each of those different cases in the next few videos. Uh, thank you for watching this. So please move on to the next video after this.